Hello everyone and welcome back to Hot Ticket. I'm Kevin Hornsby for Cox 11 here to tell you about some great events coming up at Hampton University for Black History Month. And here to share all that information is Nora Carlson-Strom and Devon Moore. Thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you for having fun. us. Let's talk about what's happening in the opening week. Well, this year's theme is Black History Moving Forward. And with okay. our opening ceremony, it's going to be um, a formal event. And we're going to have um, a variety of our students performing through dance, spoken word, and singing, as well as a keynote speaker to give us motivational words for our journey. Now, how long does it take to put stuff like this together? It usually <laughs> takes a whole year. We start back in August. You know, sometimes yeah. we start in the summertime prior to get everything started. And so we work a semester prior to uh, February. Okay. You know, to get everything planned and ready. And before we go through some of the other events, talk about how important it is when you go to Hampton University, the history of that great college is significant. I mean, it's very important because, you know, Hampton University is a historically black college and university. So, you know, we take pride in the heritage and everything that took place at our university. So, you know, being African-American students, being an African-American school, you can't let the year go by without celebrating your he history and heritage. Right. And we have some other events like uh, Bazaar and Outspoken. Tell me about those. The Bazaar, it is a cultural um, and black-owned business bazaar. Mm -hmm. And basically what we want to do is celebrate all the, all the diversity on our okay. campus. And with the black-owned businesses, we have a lot of students who started their own businesses. And That's we just cool. want to um, celebrate it and um, our diversity on yeah. the campus. And for Outspoken, it's a night of expression. Okay. And so we are recreating a coffee shop for um, a nice environment to promote nonviolent expression. And so we'll be having spoken word dancers and any type of expression and creating a safe bond between the community so we mm -hmm. can see the change we want to see. Okay. And we also have State of the Black Woman and State of the Black Man. Tell me about that. All right. Well, State of the Black Man is where we come together as young black men and we speak about the stereotypes that are out in the media. And as you know, uh, this, the previous year has been really rough, you know, in the news mm -hmm. with a lot of, you know, young black men dying from, you know, police brutality and different issues. And so we want to spark a conversation about, you know, how do we overcome those stereotypes and also have a conversation about, you know, how to be a great black man and how to, you know, value our education and furthermore. Okay, and State of the Black Greek. We celebrate, I guess, fraternities and sororities, correct? Oh, yeah. You know, talking about, you know, like the hazing, Greek unity, you know, different things that center around, you know, Greek life, especially, you know, Divine Nine Greek organizations. Mm -hmm. And we have the Beauty Bash later in the month. Tell mm -hmm. me about that, Nora. The Beauty Bash is the annual health and beauty symposium. And this year we're excited um, because we'll be having a panelist of uh, Patrice Hector, who is mm -hmm. a hairstylist from Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. We'll be having Dr. Pam Pamela Royal, who is a dermatologist from Richmond. And we'll also be having current Miss Virginia USA, Desiree Williams, who just wrote a book called um, Love Affair With My Hair, Why African American Women Cheat on Health. So we're very um, excited for this year's event and we're promoting inner and outer health education for African American women. And Capping the month off, we have the Black Heritage Extravaganza. Tell me about that. Oh, yeah, that's like our grand finale of Black History Month. This year's theme is uh, Blackish, embracing all aspects of the black life, where we'll be discussing um, within the play, you know, homophobia, divorce, mental issues, everything that goes on within a family, you know, especially the black family. And mm -hmm. sometimes we tend to sweep everything underneath the rug, but in this play, we want to bring all those issues out so they can see their issues and know how to deal with them, you know, as a family and as a culture of black people. What's participation like among the students during a month like this? They're very active. Um, of course, like we said earlier, that um, being at HBCU, we want this to be a grand um, month. Mm -hmm. And it's something that we feel as though is very important and participation is very important. So we have a lot of people come to all the different events. The students work very hard on it. And we would love the community to come out and just really invite them to our home by the sea. Well, Nora and Devon, we're out of time. But I want to thank you so much for coming and sharing this great information. All right, thank, you. thank you. And we encourage you to visit the website and find out all these dates and great events for Cox 11. I'm Kevin Hornsby.